Okay, hey guys, so this is part two of Stereoplasm Scents that I ordered. Um, I have five scents here, and the last one I did four other scents, so these are the rest from the order that I had um, from Stereoplasm. The first one is Graveyard Shift, and this one came in a small vial like this. This one is, I believe it's five, yeah, five, 0 0.5 mLs. So, this one is um, super strong to me. Um, it's, it says here that it has black coffee spiked with whiskey, wet dirt underfoot, clove cigarettes, a sticky warm cinnamon bun, and distant sound of ringing bell. I don't know what... A distant sound of ringing bell smells like but to me when it was wet it smelled like super sweet wet tobacco with a little bit of coffee and dirt and cinnamon in like the background so um, I had another scent that was similar to this because they both had cinnamon notes and on me I pull cinnamon like out from whatever it is but it stays on me and it's so so strong that it overpowers the rest of the other notes in the scent so that's kind of a bummer and that's something that I learned like testing out a lot of these but I've noticed that stereoplasm cinnamon note stays super strong on my skin and it does not go away and it overpowers all of the other notes on me so I'm thinking that maybe if you're one of those people that pull cinnamon, you're just going to smell the cinnamon as it dries down because that's all that I could smell. Um, it stayed and it was kind of like a sweetness in the background and the coffee and the dirt note was completely gone. So if you are one of those people that the cinnamon just is really strong for you, I kind of wouldn't recommend this scent for you, but if you're not, and you can get any of those other notes in, I would imagine that this would be so good. This would be just perfect. One of the perfect scents for me because I love the black coffee note, the whiskey, the wet dirt. Um, I think all of these notes combined would be just so perfect. If only it didn't have the cinnamon note for me. I would love this scent and I still really did like it I gave it an 8 out of 10 I just wanted more of like a coffee note in there that I think that would have made it a little bit more special in my eyes and um, I, I think it's super strong anyways so this one is graveyard shift okay and the next one I have here is yellow bird so this one also came in a 0.5 ml vial bottle and this one says yellow bird it has wedges of tangelo pineapple and lime in spiced vanilla garnished with a diamond frost and mint i smell super super fruitiness in this one like this one is just of fruit um, it's very sweet and it's it's not like um it's very candy like sweet it smells like some sort of limey candied fruity type of scent um, this one is definitely more like a summer scent to me because it's so fruity and it's not necessarily fresh but it's very sweet um, I would think of it like a sweet, fruity, gourmand type of scent. Um, in the dry down, this one, it reminds me so much of those Lifesaver gummy candies. Um, they come in different colors. And this is exactly that. Like, this is exactly what it smells like in my mind. Um, and I gave this one a 5 out of 10 just because I really don't 
have too many scents like this. Um, I don't really gravitate towards these fruity sweet scents. I like a little bit more fresh and clean type of fruit. Um, but um, if you guys like sweet fruity scents, yellow bird, this one is the way to go. So the next one I had was toasted machi mellow. This came in a small vial, the 0.5 ml. Okay, and this one it says that it has matcha, mimosa, cream, toasted marshmallow, and humidity. This is probably more like a spring scent to me, personally. Um, so when it's wet, I smelled like creamy, wet matcha dipped in marshmallow. Yeah, this is super creamy. Um... The toastiness comes out, but it comes out later on in the scent. It's there, but it's kind of like in the background when you first put it on. Um, this, to me, when I first wore it, I didn't smell any mimosa. I didn't smell any floral note. But as it dries down, it gets more floral and sweet, and it's creamy. And the mimosa just is there in the forefront when it's dry and you can really smell some sort of like a florally type of note there's no more toasted note to me to my nose but it's like a creaminess a sweet floral type of scent and this one I rated an 8 out of 10 and for me this would be perfect springtime scent. If I would want something for springtime, I would definitely reach for this. This one is really good. And it lasted on me for quite a while. So um, it was pretty strong. So this one is Toasted Machi Mellow. Okay, and the next one I had was Mandrake. And this one was very similar to Graveyard Shift because it has a cinnamon note in it and they're kind of similar because they have tobacco and cinnamon. So this one has pumpkin vines and flesh, wet cobblestones, toadstools in soft mulch, cinnamon bark, decaying leaves, wild tobacco. And when it was wet, I could smell like a wet, damp cinnamon note tobacco and like the flesh of a pumpkin and some sort of sweetness in there so this one even though the cinnamon is so strong for me it was not a very strong type of scent it did linger on me and I could smell it but it didn't have a strong throw so um personally I would take the graveyard shift over this one because to me, something about it was just kind of like um, not, not as strong. Like I couldn't really pick up anything when I was smelling it later on in the dry down. So, but if I had to describe this scent, I would say that I would picture myself chewing on a cinnamon stick as I'm walking through like a pumpkin patch. And as I'm doing that, let's say that I'm like rolling a tobacco cigarette. That's exactly what this scent smells like to me. And I would say that it is more of like a fall, winter type of scent. But um, this one is not as sweet for sure. It's not as sweet as Graveyard Shift. Graveyard Shift had a little bit more sweetness. This one is is not. So it's more atmospheric, I think. It's more pumpkin-y, more greenish, more... Um, and again, for me, the cinnamon is so, so strong. So um, I rated this one a 7 out of 10. It was really good, but I think I was comparing it to Graveyard Shift, and I liked Graveyard Shift a little bit better. So this one is Mandrake, um, 
And the last one I have is Frog Do. This one I got. Um, the notes are a dewy coat scented by notes of swamp azalea, wild basil, bergamot, luminescent marsh gas, and devil fruit. So this one I think is a perfect summertime scent because it's sweet, it's clean, it's a little bit um, fresh. Um, when it's wet, I smell the bergamot like right away and the basil note is strong too. Um, that's what I get out of like the whole thing. Um, there is kind of like a a wetness to this scent. It's a, it is kind of humid. I guess it could come from a dewy coat scented by notes. So like, yeah, it's a dewiness, some sort of humid note that they have in there. It's a little bit wet. Um, but as it dries down, it gets a little bit more floral. And I don't know what that's coming from. I guess it's like um, the aze azelia. Um, the bergamot is just super s strong still. And this one is like a sweet, florally bergamot type of scent, which is why I see it as more of a summertime scent. And it's like a fresh and clean scent. Um, this one I really liked and I rated it a 9 out of 10 just because, um, I almost gave it like a 10 out of 10, but it wasn't that strong on me, which is why I gave it a 9 out of 10. But if it was a little bit stronger, it would have been perfect for me and I would have wanted to get this in a full size for sure. So, um, these are all of the scents that I ordered from Stereoplasm. So I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 10 cents for you guys. Um, so that is it. Let me know if you guys want me to test anything else in particular. Um, there's going to be more scents, more scent reviews coming up. I have a lot more in store, a lot more houses, a lot more samples that have been resting for some even two plus years. So just go ahead and stay on the lookout for the next video. Thank you guys very much.